All right, our next guest on Property Source is uh, Mike Cullen, who is uh, with, uh, let's see, I want to get the exact name of the company, Ash Tree Medics. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, lawn Tree and Lawn Care is uh, your area of expertise. That's great. Yep. Thanks for joining us today. And I'll start the same way I started with Jim, with the uh, Home Power Systems. It's a time of year where you don't necessarily think about yard work. You know, it's unusual. Thanks for having me here, by the way. Our pleasure. It's it's uh, an unusual winter so far, isn't it? People are actually out there looking at their grass. It's the middle of winter, and the lawns are exposed. Yeah. Yeah. So, it should unusual. be white. It's going to be an unusual year, I think. It depends on how uh, the rest of the year goes with the climate, and um, we'll see what happens in terms of the way things grow and germinate and so forth. What do you think is going to happen this summer? I mean, spring and summer, do you think it's going to be really hot, or do you, you don't even know? Have you I seen have a, no idea. You, you don't know, have a prediction? Last year was so unpredictable. It came out so wet, and then it yeah. got dry, and uh, you know there are specific problems that occurred. This year, I think, in the landscape, without the snow cover, there's going to be certain... Uh, there's going to be desiccation on turf, you know, from the exposure what to the sun. What does that mean? It's when it, it get, the turf where the plants get dried out. Oh, okay. Oh, here. Uh, I thought from, it was something you know, else. Usually, uh, if, if you have a Pachysandra bed, Pachysandra yeah. especially prefers to have snow cover. And if you've got a uh, exposed bed of Pachysandra, you're going to have problems this spring. Oh, they, really? Oh, yeah. Well, my wife will Whoops. be thrilled with it because that's a big part of our backyard. Mine, oh, too. Mm. Yeah, you're going to keep an eye on that. So, the lawn has a mind of its own. Is that what you're trying, trying well, to say? I guess like, yeah, I guess we all have a mind of our own, including the plants that are out yeah. there. But there's different species and varieties that are hardier than others. And uh, some are going to fare better than others. So, mm -hmm. Well, it should be kind of interesting uh, because, you know, I've, every year we have a, a backyard gazebo that we set up. And we put uh, a carpet down on the, on the lawn. And the lawn needs the winter to come back. And I always sense that it kind of, you know, thr thrived on the snow cover. Well, hmm. you know, it's it's uh, it's interesting. The golf courses used to cover their greens with with tarps to protect mm -hmm. the greens in the winter time. And uh, if they didn't do it this year, they're going to be in for a, a, a world of hurt. The, really? uh, there's a snow mold. You know, the one thing that's the good part of a, the the lack of snow is there going to be a, a less snow mold fungus that kills the turf this spring. Usually, when the snow melts, you see splotches of dead grass, and that has to do with. Uh, the amount of snow we've had. So there'll probably be less of that. So Interesting. Yeah. Mike Cullen is with uh, Ash Tree Medics. Their website, and I want to get this right because there's a letter in the middle of it, is uh, turfintrees.com. That's correct. T-U-R-F-N right. trees.com. Right. We have it linked up with Property Source Radio. So if you go to our website, propertysourceradio.com, you find out about the work they do, the lawn service, the tree care, and landscape management programs at Ash Tree Medics. What's with the ash tree part? Well, I'll tell you, I'm just getting the word out. People have seen the information in the media to a certain point, but this uh, emerald ash board that's coming to town is going to be the worst uh, insect in terms of damage for uh, trees in our country that we've ever seen. Really? There's going to be probably, um, there's probably 100 million dead trees already. 100 million dead trees between oh. Michigan, Iowa, Ohio, and it's moving into New York State. Oh, boy. So the, the, the value, you're looking at a cost of probably $20 billion wow. of the cost to remove trees. Um, the environmental cost in, includes uh, replacing the trees, yeah. grinding the stumps, putting down, installing new trees. And um, it's just going to be a, 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 a tough road to hoe. And what is your role at all this? Well, we're out injecting trees now with a, okay. a product called triage. Mm -hmm. And triage is a systemic insecticide that we place directly into the cannula of the tree, and it's taken up so that the uh, tree is protected from the uh, emerald ash borer. Hmm. You say it's going to be the worst ever. Uh, have we had infestations of it before? No, not here. No? Um, the, the, probably the worst. There are different... Uh, calamities around the country. Down south, there was like in palm trees. They had lethal yellowing. Here, we had the uh, Dutch elm uh, Dutch elm disease. I remember that, yeah. And Dutch elm trees were are gone for the most part. And we have millions of ash trees that are probably going to be gone as well. Down in uh, I was in Henrietta, uh, down by Scottsville Road, where they first found the critter. And those trees down there that were infected a year and a half ago are now dead. Oh. So we started in 2010 injecting oh. trees. And um, people are taking advantage of the fact that these trees add value to their property. You can have probably 10 to 15% in, in, in added value to, your, to, cost, to the value of your home 
in the landscapes that you have around your home. So I can be proactive and call you exactly. at, at Ash Tree Medics, and you will inject uh, inject my trees with, and I think it's a very clever name, triage. Yeah, yeah. So it's mm-hmm. kind of playing yeah. words. Is it a pricey <laughs> procedure? Not really, when you yeah. consider the alternatives. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, what I would consider doing is uh, calling us and having us come out and evaluate the condition of the tree. If the tree is in good health and good condition and a good location, then you probably want to save it. It adds value to your property. But if the tree is, uh, let's say it's um, compromised, if it has some damage in the canopy, or if it's an older tree, a lot of times the root systems are, are not as functional, mm-hmm. then you may want to consider uh, either letting nature take its course or perhaps consider removing it and replacing it. And can you tell just by, you know, just by looking, what are the telltale tell signs? I think what's going to happen is you're going to see uh, the most prominent sign now is woodpecker damage. Mm. Um, if you don't see dieback in the canopy of the tree, um, you'll see flecks of bark coming off. And you, if you see woodpeckers in the neighborhood, mm-hmm. you've probably got... Um, the, the critter starting to move in. Oh my gosh, my wife okay. feeds the woodpeckers. She uh-huh. loves them in the backyard. She, she, well, yeah, the, the one, the one upside. Great. Harboring fugitives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess maybe the woodpeckers are going to be the ones that make out through this whole thing. Yeah. There's going uh-huh. to be plenty to eat. You ever seen woodpeckers making out, man? No. It's pretty, pretty. No. <laughs> Mike, I mean, thanks for okay. joining us. Your phone number for more information? It's 755-2204. 755-2204. And again, the website is linked up to ours at propertysourceradio.com. Mike, great to have you. Thank you very much. I hope it's not as bad as you say. I do, too. But well, uh, I think it's important to be proactive. Absolutely. And uh, we're, like we said, we're doing what we can to save one tree at a time. Great. Nice to meet you. Thank Thanks you. for joining us today on Property Source Radio.